G'day. I'm back again with another dish. This time it's kangaroo with a kwandong chilli glaze. Now, kangaroo is like any kind of game. You either cook it fast and furious or very slow and gently. I'm going to use both techniques with this. That pan has been sitting on the flames for about 10 minutes. It's blue hot. Seriously, seriously hot. And it's dry. There's no oil. If I had oil in it, it would have burnt. That's why I've got these welding gloves. The kangaroo I've had soaking in olive oil. This is backstrap. I've had it soaking in olive oil for the last 10 minutes. And now it's into the pan. I'm going to sear the kangaroo and it'll blacken on the outside, which will give us a lovely caramel flavour. And the inside is going to be lovely medium rare. But it is so hot at the moment. Why I thought this soup oven is so I can lift it off the flame. There's no point in working on the kangaroo on the fire. It's better to pull it away from the flame and work outside and then return it. And now I'm going to sear that on all four sides. By the way, this recipe is in my book, Outback Recipes and Stories from the Campfire. The fruit that I'm going to use to make the sauce is very, very Australian. Kwandong is a native of Australia. It's a member of the Sandalwood family and it grows all over arid Australia, from the Wimmera all the way into the Northern Territory and out into Western Australia. And this is how I made the Kwandong sauce earlier. Heat the olive oil and add the garlic. Stir it until it's nice and fluffy and then add the chilies. Stir the chilies around, add the kwandongs. The kwandongs have been soaking in port for about 15 minutes until they're soft. Add the port. You can flame the port on the side of the pan if it's hot to make a nice reduction and flame off the alcohol. Add the veal stock. Now add the sugar. Reduce the whole thing until it's a nice thick sauce. Should take about 15 minutes. OK, it's time to get the kangaroo off the fire. I'm going to roast it for a further 10 minutes in the oven. Now, you're probably thinking, this is a fairly unconventional way to cook meat. It looks more like burnt offering. But kangaroo isn't like normal meat. It's a lot denser. And what this has done is it's seared all the moisture inside the roux. So I'll pop them in there. After this is baked for another 10 minutes, I'm going to rest it for a further five and then you'll see that it's the most delicious, tender cut of meat when I slice it. And we're going to serve it with a delicious kwandong sauce. Well, this is my last dish. I've had a fantastic time travelling around this extraordinary place over the last week with you. And I hope that we meet again on a bush track somewhere soon. <laughs>